welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you for roof beam plan details guys you can see this is roof plan details inside this guys these are rcc columns now for roof plans details you can see these are sections this is cross section and this is the long section for roof plan details so let's get start guys if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free guys you can see here we have uh, b1 b1 so b1 and b2 so this is b1 this is b1 this is b1 so here the b1 length is here nine feet the other one is eight feet and six inches the other one is also eight feet and six inches next guys you can see the long beams are here b2 b2 length is 17 feet 1.5 inch this is also b2 this is also b2 this is also b2 and this is b1 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 these are b2 okay so b2 beams are long and b1 is short beam okay so here guys here the size of the b1 and b2 is 13.5 inches by 18 feet 18 inches it means the width is 13.5 inches with concrete cover and the depth of the beam is 18 inches this is 13.5 inches and this is 18 feet 18 inches this is its depth okay now guys here this is the plane of roof plan and this is its section so here you can see guys clearly this is b one because this is short beam here this is b1 long section and this is b2 long section if you see guys the b2 length is maximum compared to b1 this is minimum length and this is maximum length now the b1 section is a1 and section i b okay guys you can see 1a and 1b so this is at section now i will also guide you for sections next guys you can see here this is section 1a for b1 okay this is b1 which length is 9 feet now guys if you see here the width is 13 feet 1.5 inches and the depth is 12 inches with slab 6 inches so this is become uh, it becomes 18 inches so therefore guys you can see 13.5 inches by 18 inches slab thickness is 6 inches okay so therefore the size is 13.5 inches by 18 inches with slab thickness here guys you can see clearly a1 1a so here 1a section is here in this long section i will guide you here in this long section for this section okay where we have four numbers of bars at the bottom we have four numbers of bars at the bottom dia is 16 millimeter or five suture five by eight inches this is dia and guys you can see this is the tension zone this is compression zone or upper portion where we have four numbers of steel rods guys you can see same dia which is five suture okay so five suture dia or five by eight inch dia next guys you can see here four numbers at the bottom four at the top next guys you can see the stirrup dia is 3 suture or 3 by 8 inches or you can say normally this is 8 millimeter so with the spacing of 4 inches look here this is 4 inches center to center spacing between two stirrups and here guys you can see this is slab continuous slab okay so now let me guide you in this long section from this section so guys you can see here so this is 1a guys you can see and this is 1a so here we have 4 bars at the bottom 4 at the top four at the bottom four at the top guys you can see the spacing of stirrups you can see so but this section is specially at the distance of 36 inches look at here this is 36 inches so only at the distance of 36 inches at the right side or at the left side at the both side we have 36 inch length okay or you can say three feet three feet because the total length is here maximum which is nine feet so in nine feet we have three feet extra steel bars we have also okay next guys you can see the total length is for a1 which is six feet and eight inches and you can see here it stirrups details which is three suture with the spacing of four inches center to center next guys you can see here a uh, so at the distance of l by four also because this is column this is other column so at the both side at the distance of 36 inches and 36 inches we have the same diagram and the same steel reinforcement four bars at the bottom 
4 at the top okay now let me guide you for the other section which is 1b we have same size that's why because uh, we can't change the size here because here we have two sections one for uh, uh, at the distance of l by 4 or at the distance of 36 inches the other one after l by 4 or you can say after 36 inches so size is 13.5 inches by 18 inches with slip we have four numbers at the bottom dia is same five suter four numbers we have two bars at upper portion guys you can see two bars dia is 16 millimeter stirrup spacing guys we increased here which is eight inches center to center that's why because here we don't have negative bending moment at the distance of 36 inches so therefore guys you can see this is a b guys you can see this is 1b sorry this is 1b section so at 1b section guys you can see three suture are uh, you can see three suture dia are eight millimeter diameter with the spacing of eight inches so guys you can see this is the other section okay these are changed from each other only we have two bars here at upper portion and here we have two extra bars at upper portion also here guys you can see this is uh, six feet and eight inches so now guys you can see hooks are bent on 135 degree and the hooks length should not be less than three inches this is the minimum length of hooks now guys you can see the b2 beam 2 which is long beam okay so long beam length is here if you see the long beam length is 27 feet and 3 inches so for 27 feet 3 inch span we are using b beam 2 so for b b2 guys we have two section 2a or 2b okay so therefore guys the size is same but here we have four numbers at the bottom you can see clearly and four at the top two are sidebars look at here two are sidebars here so now let me guide you for 2a section and this long section okay so now guys if you see let me show you 2a so this is 2a section also near its support near its support this is the other section which is 2a so at the distance of 10 feet total 10 feet okay but here guys if you see 36 inches at the distance of 36 inches again we are using here four inches spacing center to center the dia is 10 uh, 8 millimeter or you can say three suter next guys you can see with hooks guys you can see which is six feet eight inches at this place guys we are using two sidebars guys you can see this is sidebar this is the other sidebar diameter is same look at here four plus two because two are sidebars here we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing extra steel bars are sidebars okay both of them you can use but we are you uh, we already used both of them okay if you see guys two bars extra and two are sidebars so total we have four numbers so four plus two next guys you can see here uh, it's spacing at uh, 2a also at 2b so after this guys you can see this is section 2b so at section 2b we have two bars at the bottom four bars at the bottom okay dia is five suter or 16 millimeters so four plus two because two sidebars here after l by four are after negative bending moment we have two sidebars here guys look at look at here this is at the bottom because this is tension zone look at here we have maximum tension here okay and here we have negative bending moment here we have positive bending moment to resist positive bending moment you are providing extra steel rods at bottom portion especially at sidebars you can use to resist negative bending moment you will provide extra steel rods in upper portion okay because let me uh, make a diagram for this guys you can see that's why we are providing extra steel rods look at here this is called negative and positive bending moment this is positive bending moment and this is negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment you should provide extra steel rods in upper portion like this when you are providing uh, the uh, when you are resisting uh, positive bending moment okay so you are you should provide here extra steel rods at bottom portion which they already provided here so guys this is a video to guide you for roof plan details guys you can see this is roof plan and these are its section so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye